Hello, in this video we are going to use crypto mats to adjust different things and add different features. So um, what we'll need to do is duplicate one of the layers that has all our AOVs. So I think a, uh, the sheen has one. And um, let's just bring that on the top so it's more vis visible and I'll set that to normal. And then I'm going to go over to the extractor that's been already applied to it. Um, so let's go over here and set this to crypto object. So nothing happens. Uh, you need to add in an effect. So let me close this. Go to so my effects not here. So if you go to over here and go to effects. Uh, or I can just go reset. Reset FX lazy layout. There we go. And then search crypto mat. Grab it, drag it onto that layer, and you should be able to see it. Um, usually start like this, and then I select either the material, asset, or object. I want to do objects. So what I want to do, I'm going to put some text behind um, these here, these balls here. So I'm gonna select them by hitting, just clicking left click and then shift selecting. There we go. And then instead of colors, let me see, do I want that in the front or back? I think it's fine in the back, okay. So I'm going to go over to matte only. And that will create this mask. So now I per have a perfect mask. I'm going to rename this to Crypto th um, 3 Objects. So things can get kind of complicated the more you start editing things. Um, so now I'm going to add some text and say this is, is it working? Oh, I'm on this layer. Let me bring it up here. All right. Compositing. Something like that. And move this over here. And maybe, so I'm gonna think about how I'm, maybe I'll, I can do some animation where it starts in the back of it and then moves up. Something like that I could do. But let's just do something like this so you can see it's being masked out. And, um, oh, I got this extra one I'm gonna get rid of. So now I'm gonna get this down here as a mask. So I'm gonna go down to this track mat and set this to crypto objects. And then I have to change this to Luma mat and then invert it. And there I have it. And I can place this, animate this, and it will feel like it's inside this environment, which is pretty sweet. Um, another way that we can use this tool is to edit any kind of any parameter that we put out here. Like if there was one of these balls where the sheen was wrong, I could just duplicate. I, I basically would make a mask and two masks, one that's inverted and invert and or just a mask of it. And then I would break it out using these um, tools. So let's do one um let's say the skin well, the skin is a little bit easier because it's one object let's try the sheen say i don't like the sheen on that one object but i like it on that object so um that would be really hard to do you could do it all together in this effect by just Reducing the opacity, see how it kind of goes away. 
So you could do that, but you would say you want to keep on one. Um, then a crypto mat would be really helpful. So let's do that. Um, okay. So I'm going to select that sheen and duplicate it. I'm going to go over here and there we go. set this to crypto object like this and I'm going to rename this to being crypto um, sheen ball and um, then I'm going to put a crypto mat on it and then I'm going to start selecting crypto object OK Oh, and it looks weird because it's on add. So make sure you take that back off. And so I want, say I want that one to be the one I don't want. So oop, colors, there we go. Or I can select, can I select all of them inverted? So either I can select all of them except for that one or I can do, uh, I'll just select that one and then do a mat. That'll be better. And then I'm going to take this, put it on the bottom here, because I don't really need to see it. This needs to be, needs to exist so I can use it to reduce it. So now I have this sheen. I'm going to duplicate it. So this is the original sheen and I'll mask that out. So I'm going to take this one, crypto sheen ball, and then I'm going to luma mat. I'm going to hide this one. So now, just so I know what, what's happening clearly, this is only masking that one or it's, it's masking this one, but keeping this one. So if I invert it, then that will be good. So I didn't even need this extra one actually, because that kind of just took care of it. Um, and say I wanted it to be not full effect, then I could just, I could probably just take this crypto sheen and let's see if we can add a levels to it. I'm not sure if this will work, but it should. So I'm gonna put a levels to this and then this will give me just the ability, hopefully to, uh, yep, see how it's just adding a little bit. Say I wanted just that one ball, but I wanna reduce it or increase it a little bit, but not too much. And you see how you can get have really fine grain um, control through this, um, and uh, it is, and then you don't have to render everything out again. And you can do different things like animate it to be on and off, like it's good in one frame but it looks weird in another frame. Then you can adjust the parameters along, you know, your frame range. And then the whole thing will look good. So hopefully I demonstrated why we use this and how um, powerful they are. So see you in the next one.